From the 29.20 avatar update, going live in just a few days not only affecting Battle Royale with an event pass, free rewards, but even Rocket Racing. Season 2 of this mode rolling around and let's not of course forget a ton of free rewards that Fortnite have literally just dropped on us before this update goes live, so stick around until the end to get all of that and more today, there's a ton of intel. Stop, don't forget before you pick up the battle pass or anything from the shop, you enter code FM1 inside here as it looks completely different now but it definitely still works, being one of the shortest and easiest codes to enter out there. It would mean the world to me and my dog Charlie the Charcoal Pug now that we've got the brand new cutout so that means another purchase had to be made. Last video I wanted to know the name of this so here's a bunch of hearted comments on screen right now that got that right. Today however I want to know the name of this so let me know down below in the comments and if it gets hearted it could be showed on screen in the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel as after all it only benefits you with us gifting different subscribers every single day with some proof for that recently on screen right now. Diving straight into it all most importantly Fortnite tweeted out on April 3rd confirming this event's upcoming with the new in-game map changes that you've seen on screen right now of Appa and Ang inside the iceberg. 100 years is almost up in reference to, you know, Ang breaking out of this iceberg within the Avatar The Last Airbender show. On top of that, Fortnite have teased another skin upcoming as a part of this event that people initially thought was Korra, but isn't it another female skin that looks like her? In this post, what's in the iceberg? Wrong answers only. Despite this angle giving us a good shot at all the different textures and kind of colours that will be on Appa in the different sections of his fur, data miners have been able to determine that this new Avatar teaser is containing the Katara skin, which is this character from the show on screen right now. And believe it or not, there's more characters coming to the game that have their own mythic abilities that we've got to reveal later in the video, so stay tuned. With us being in version 29.10 from loading up the game right now when I'm recording and uploading this video, of course there's three more downtime updates before the next season, 29.20, what we're going into, the Avatar one, 29.30 and also 29.40 before 30.00, or should I say the 30th season of Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. With this exact same image used on the 100 Years is Almost Up social post from Fortnite being on the in-game use tab, it's also revealed what wasn't actually stated on that social post post April 12th, meaning this is when the event's going to be starting. However, update 29.20 is going to be happening before that, don't worry, and it's literally just been confirmed right now from Sheena. The big Avatar update 29.20 has just been added to the staging servers and will be released next week. It will contain multiple new Avatar skins, an event pass, mythics, and more. Of course, many characters that we're seeing in the image that he actually attached to this post. Two of which we already know are definitely upcoming, being, well, Appa, you know, this giant fluffy monster thing, and also Ang in the event pass. We've got the full thing to reveal in just a second anyway, so stay tuned for those juicy details, but that begs the question, when is 29.20 going to be going live then, or has it been changed? The answer to that is no, as from Hypex, he initially stated Fortnite Rocket Racing Season 1 name that is upcoming very soon, is Neon Knights, happens to land on April 9th, with the 29.20 update also releasing that day. You can also see this based off the length of how long you have until in Season 0 of Rocket Racing to get the free skin, this female character that's currently available right now, which will be gone forever after we reach the timer that it's staying it's literally in the right hand side of this box. This will be replaced with Mateus, which is going to be the Season 1 Neon Knights free Rocket Racing skin, of course, that will go on for quite a duration as Rocket Racing Season 0 rolled around with the launch of Chapter 5 overall in December of 2023 and is only ending just now four months later. Of course, we've just had a huge update to LEGO Fortnite being Mechanical Mayhem, the update's name, which got 10 million views introducing cars, vehicles, or whatever you want to call everything showcased in this trailer on their YouTube channel. And soon, the final of these three modes introduced at the start of Chapter 5 Festival, the Festival Pass, or Season 2 overall, the Fortnite Festival will be ending on April 22nd, which is even before the month of the launch of Chapter 5 Season 3, which happens to be in May on the 24th. We are in Week 7 now, so use this as your reminder to get this version of Lady Gaga before it's gone forever, and again, don't forget to use code FM1 when picking anything up from the shop, it greatly supports me and Charlie the Charcoal Pug. Nobody doing it like us with these cardboard cutouts going the extra mile to show our love to the supporters, we both appreciate you so much. Rocket Racing recently got the UEFN tools available to actually make, create or publish our own maps with them stating you've raced our tracks, now it's time to build yours, build your own tracks with the new track building and vehicle spawning tools in UEFN. This being the official trailer for it that got revealed in the State of Unreal livestream and also most interestingly one day ago they posted the road to ranked rewards is ending soon, next week we'll be resetting players ranks and introducing fresh rewards to race for. Along with the reset on April 9th, progression and matchmaking will be fine tuned based on player feedback more info soon. This could mean more free rewards than just the Mateus skin upon the actual update going live, so keep your eyes peeled for those and subscribe with all notifications turned on to get everything instantly covered. Even more free rewards available right now, however, are the Ranked Cup ones. As you can see, we got this leaked, this glider at the start of the season, which largely resembles the Victor Royale one that we get for simply getting a win in a core battle royale mode, whether it be solos, duos, trios, or squads. And despite these being all the different versions of the umbrella we can actually get for, you know, ranking up through the different 
different ranked sections all the way to Unreal. There are three loading screens to obtain also, which happen to be teaser images that Fortnite posted to their socials prior to Season 2 of Chapter 5 release and correlating to the Battle Pass skins, as you can see Zeus, Hades and also Aphrodite. Furthermore, Fortnite just enabled another free rewards event, this is called Lantern Trials, and as you can see Sheena posted the following, free cosmetics, you can now earn free items by participating in the Fortnite Lantern Trials, the Disco Baller Spray, the Moonlit Peace Wrap and the Nightblade Pickaxe. Unlike Reboot Rally that was just introduced, of course that we can literally just do the challenges from actually playing the game and seeing eligible players to actually play with so we can both earn the rewards simultaneously, you need to go to this website and of course log in, sign up and then complete the different challenges which are very easy in order to unlock all of these rewards right now on screen, which I definitely do think is worth it considering these smaller free rewards event means not a lot of people are going to go out of their way to go to this website with the link on screen and in the description to actually get these and then that could mean at some point if they don't come back to the item shop they become very rare. Despite Avatar being the collaboration upcoming again that we're about to reveal everything for, another collaboration that rotated throughout the item shop last night as you can see Sheena stated for like the 1000th time was Invincible but interestingly the reason for this may be because they actually put a Fortnite weapon in the new Invincible episode as you can see this one right here. Obviously he's holding it to actually hit someone with it instead of shoot the weapon and this is the weapon from Fortnite that I'm sure a lot of you recognise. I believe it's an exotic rarity weapon. Psst, if you haven't entered code FM1 to pick up these Invincible cosmetics or anything else make sure to do so, okay thanks. Something nobody seems to be talking about that needed fixing however considering not many people are level 200 already is the fact that we can't currently get the Titan Flame Hades skin. Apparently 29.20 will be fixing this upon it release and as Sheena posted the Titan Flame Hades skin will be unlockable for all players who have reached level 200 starting next Tuesday. Currently reaching level 200 does not grant you enough battle stars to claim the skin even though you actually got to the level needed to get the battle stars in the first place to then purchase making it a fault of Epic Games and maybe we get a free reward granted for this inconvenience, who knows? A free reward right in front of our eyes like we see in every mini pass or event pass whatever you want to call them with a paid and free section just like we've seen throughout the history of these is no other than Appa of course from Avatar The Last Airbender frozen inside this kind of iceberg prison with Aang who's going to be breaking out on April 12th again for the start of this event but Appa for those that don't know is going to be a glider despite the fact I think we can all agree based off the size comparison to well Aang being a Fortnite character in here we'd love to see these as giant silly wildlife on the island that nobody really wants to kind of harm just like Plombos that we saw rest in peace these big gentle guys I know Fortnite baited us about these returning literally so many times anyways despite this going through three stages closely more approaching the island with you know days that pass now until it's almost touching the Battle Royale Island itself here's all the current information we have about the elements pass as you can see Sheena posted this is the event pass for Fortnite X Avatar you instantly unlock the Ang skin after purchase for 1000 V bucks which means there are free and paid reward tracks for this limited time battle pass or event and all of the Avatar skins will come with their normal Lego variants instantly with the event ending May 3rd but the Appa Glider will apparently be available toward the event's end so don't slack off just before May 3rd if you want to get this giant friendly beast to glide down onto the island with. Speaking of May 3rd apparently in Rocket League also made or created or owned by Epic Games there is going to be two new collaborations being the X-Men bundle April 23rd and the Beska Star Wars bundle May 3rd of course just before Star Wars Day May the 4th which Sheena makes a good point about stating many Rocket League cars are also coming to Fortnite nowadays so maybe these will be a part of new FN collaborations too. After all supposedly from another post on March 28th that no one's talking about a new Mandalorian vehicle skin is coming to Fortnite as a part of the next Star Wars event. It will be added to both Fortnite and Rocket League and given yesterday's Rocket League bundle leaks the collaboration should drop around May 4th again being Star Wars Day for the play on words of May the 4th be with you, May the 4th be with you. Epic Games over this time period will be bringing back old Star Wars item shop skins we've previously seen and maybe potentially implementing new ones hopefully with them returning the mythic lightsabers to the Battle Royale Island. This would be a crazy combo I'm not gonna lie lightsabers and the wings of Icarus honestly I never would have predicted Fortnite would be like this six years ago. However speaking of mythics but coming around for the Avatar event despite the Korra waterbender ones that we saw for the first time in the chapter 5 season 2 trailer. According to Sheena we're going to be seeing three more mythic abilities for this season likely the following airbending humble mop codename earthbending annoyed mop codename and firebending fancy mop code name. And with us knowing what the Korra mythic ability already looks like, this scroll with the water bending or Korra kind of symbol on, that's also on this back bling from taking a look at the other three symbols, despite, you know, the water resembling one. For the other elemental bending effects, it gives us a good idea of what these scrolls will look like for these other three abilities I've just discussed, being airbending, earthbending, and firebending. Out of these three abilities in concept form, which do you think looks the coolest? And drop a like if you learned something
you're new today, subscribe with all notifications turned on so you don't miss those future uploads once everything gets leaked. Do not forget to enter code FM1 in time for picking all of this up when it rolls around very shortly as we've got a banger lineup of things coming to the game. In terms of other videos though, click either of these two YouTubes recommended you on screen right now. It's a good suggestion whilst you wait for the very next upload I do publish here on the channel.